Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy, and in this tutorial I'll just show you how to create main menu for your game. It will have setting and everything. Let me show you how it looks like. You click on play, start the game, we have your quit button, which will quit it, obviously. Then again on play, you can go to settings, set it to whatever you need. Let's do low, because you have budget computer, let's be real here. Click on back and start the game. You have your game on low setting or on high setting, depending on what you choose. So let's stop wasting your time and get to work. All right, let's get started. I will be working with Unreal Engine 5, but you can also flow it with Unreal Engine 4 if you need to. I have here just a simple scene that will help us demonstrate different changes in visuals etc etc once we get to setting. But for now we will actually start from the end and that means we will start with how to quit the game. So right now if you just click on play you will directly start, can drive your car, blah blah blah, but we don't want that. We want it to start on a main menu when you can change settings, start, uh, start the game with a button or quit the game with a button. So let's set it up. Click on control spacebar where you will get your content or in Unreal Engine 4 you probably already have it here, right click and we will create here new user interface and it will be widget blueprint and let's call it main menu underscore widget all right now if you open that so first thing we will do is to add here some kind of background let's put here a blur background blur click on anchors and set it to this last one so it will fill everything now offset set to zero and zero and offset right and bottom as well now it will cover the whole screen and now let's also change the blur strength how much you want it to blur everything let's set about five or oh, maybe even eight that looks pretty good and now let's add here just a quit button so we will need here a button let's put it in here but we don't want it under background blur we want it under canvas panel and now you can take that button and rescale it and before that i actually almost forgot we have to look at background blur and set z order to minus let's do minus two and your button set to one and everything else will be probably better if you set it on one anchor point let's set to center and what we will do is set size to about 150 or maybe even more let's do 200 times 150 Oh, times 100 will be better and let's situate it somewhere here you can of course change its colors to make it better or ideally upload here your own image so let's take a background and switch it to something reddish and now what we will do is to find here a text and put it right in it and let's call it just a quit all right so now if you click on that button you can scroll down here and find here on click. Click on plus button and it will create an event that happens once you click on that button. And simple thing we want to do here is to call a note that will quit the game. So quit game, make sure it's quit, blah blah blah, all that is good and compile. But now we of course need to add it to the game. So let's close that and find our pawn. Now it really depends what your pawn in the game is. In my case it's this wonderful car, so I, that's what I will use. You can usually find it if you click on window and uh, world setting there you will have your game mode and if you click on it you can find chaos vehicle blueprint as a default pawn so let's find it and what we want to do here on our event begin play let's create it in case it's not there yet oh it's here but i will just deselect it you can ignore it you probably have here completely different logic than me and what i want to do here is create widget from class so create widget that widget will be of course our main menu widget and I want to add it to viewport so let's put it add to viewport so now if I click on play it will be here everything is blurred and if I click on it it will quit the game that's what's called success guys as you could have seen the game is still running and I don't want that I want the game to be paused in case that you want something to start right when you start the game it's a good idea to pause the game and get to main menu back in your default pawn let's pause the game so set game paused set it to true and we also want to just to be sure set our input mode that you interact only with ui and vi or widget you are widgets are basically just ui don't really worry about it so let's put here set ui input mode ui only and if you want you can connect here your widget that's here just in case that you would have more widgets on your screen and you want to focus only on this new one that you created. And one more thing, we of course need to set up our player controller. So take player controller and get player controller. And now if you click on play, you can see that the game is paused and you can use your quit button. But you can see your mouse. That's another, well it's not a bug but it's something we have to solve. So back in your default pawn and what you also want to do here is show mouse and i think it's taken from player controller so let's take it 
and show mouse cursor set show mouse cursor set it to true and connect right here all right click on play and now it's looking pretty good quit right now if i click on play i start under the car which is probably not your case but in my case it's because the game doesn't have enough time to switch camera you don't really have to worry about that if you wanted to fix it you can just go into player pawn you could put here just a bit of a delay that will fix it but usually that's not how you would do that you usually create a simple empty level where you have your main menu and from that empty level you will load this main level where you actually play the game i will show you how to do that in a section where we will start the game but now after i added the delay it should work much better we still got here some compensation of uh, brightness but we can ignore that let's let's pretend that it's not here all right now when we have our quit button let's get to something a bit more complicated and that's how to create setting and changing different visual parts of the game for that i will refer quite a lot to this page on unreal engine documentation and i will leave you link in the description for it you will have here all the comments that you need for different setups of graphical settings for your game so you will probably need to read through that a bit but I will give you a quick rundown, so don't worry about it too much. All right, first of all, let's get back into content and our main menu widget. Let's move our quit button a bit down. If you duplicate it, let's put it in the middle, because there will be, of course, play button on the start. And let's rewrite our quit to setting. Now, what I would usually do is to again click on this thing and click here on clicked blah 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 but what i want to show you is how to create this event in your in your blueprint and not in your widget because that's something that you will end up doing quite a lot so let's minimize this thing and we will get back in our pawn because that's where we have created our widget but before we create an event here let's move everything down so it's not in the way and let's also rework this a bit because i don't want to always take it from here and the proper way to do that is actually to create here a reference so right click promote to variable call it main menu underscore ref and let's disconnect both of these because we have promoted this thing to variable we can from here on use just this thing and right here and in widget to focus let's connect our widget and now let's create that event so let's take your menu reference get it and I would almost forget we need to name our buttons so it will be easier to work with them like that. So my setting button, let's call it just a setting button, that's actually a pretty good name. Setting button and this one should be quit button. You don't really need to name this one but we should keep it all organized. No one's really doing that, don't worry about it. Back in my pawn, let's take my main menu reference and from here get buttons. So get setting button. And we will want to assign that event so assign on clicked and let's call it setting button click and connect it right here and from now on it works exactly in the same way as if you were creating custom event in your blueprint so here what i will want to do is to create another blueprint widget widget blueprint so let's create that right click and let's actually duplicate this one it will be easier let's call it setting widget and we will need to change a few settings the order on this one will be set to one and for our two buttons let's set the order to three so now it will be over our main menu and maybe we should blur it a bit more so let's do blur strength like 15 and now back in chaos vehicle blueprint what we will simply do is same thing as we did already here so we'll create widget and add it to viewport so let's ctrl c ctrl v and you don't need to create reference or anything like that because that all is already set up. So let's connect it here. And widget we will be creating is setting widget, of course. All right? Connect it after this. And now let's see if it works. Click on play. We have all this. Click on setting. And that created new widget with the same buttons because I didn't change it. And I can endlessly create. No, I can't endlessly create because I don't have assigned it here. Let's quit it. Well, quit doesn't work because we haven't assigned it yet. That will be actually the first thing we will do. So control spacebar, setting widget, and let's change its colors a bit. So it's clearly recognizable which one is which. Let's do blue. My quit button will be renamed to back button and setting. Let's leave it like that for now. And if I click on my back button, what I want on event click is remove widget from parent. So remove widget, remove from parent like that. Click on compile and let's see if it works. All right, click on play, setting please. I got my setting, setting is still. If I click back, it disappeared. 
that thing disappear. Cool, looks like it works. And we are gonna make it a bit more fancy. So let's stop this thing and back in your setting widget. Let's move it here. It'll be probably better if we switch anchor points to the right. Compile. Now if I click on play, setting, look at that, it's looking actually pretty professional, like not trying to flex or anything, but this is looking pretty decent. Now we have all the visual functionality for our setting menu, so let's actually make it do something. As I said before, we will use this doc page to find what we are wanting to change. And just so you have some idea, we are basically going to do this thing, if you click on setting and engine scalability setting. We are going to be switching between these just with commands in real time. So let's do that right now. First is this resolution scale and you can find it right here. And comment for that is our screen percentage. So let's just copy this one, control C and we will have to set it between 100 and 10. If you just want to demonstrate it, you can enter it here in CMD. And in case you are using Unreal Engine 4, you can click on Windows and find here a output lock and put it in here. It's completely the same thing. But in here, let's put it there, and right now it should be 100, obviously, but if I want to enter it to 10, if I start the game, which is really hard to see right now, so what I'm going to do is to actually not spawn setting and show it to you all. So let's quickly go to world setting, our pawn, blah, 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 and we are going to not do anything with it so far just because I want to see all those settings. So if I click on play, now you can see that's how resolution on 10 looks like. Oh damn, that was really bad. <laughs> okay, I, that was even worse than I expected. But if I switch it back to 100, click on play, you can see that everything is pretty cool and works as you would imagine it should. So if I will go somewhere between that, let's say 50, it should lower the quality, but still be, still be somewhat playable. So how you can do it in real time, it's really simple. You will have to, and before we do that in the widget, let's actually create here some setups. So let's put here this one as high. And let's create two more for medium and low. So after clicking on high, let's create on clicked event. And what we will simply do is to execute command line. So execute console command and what you simply have to do is insert here your screen percentage and this one is high so let's leave it to 100 let's create a medium on clicked this one let's do about 80 and for the last one low let's set it to do, do, do. let's do 50. all right and to make sure that you know which one is which for future reference if you are lazy as me and don't name it let's select this one press c set it to high and the same thing for other ones. Let's actually also add post process quality because that will be quite a heavy in performance impact. So let's control C, control V, all of them. I said all of them, mate. And then let's copy our SG post process quality. Doo -doo -doo. And for this one in high, it should be free. I think free was the maximum. Yep, free. So let's set it to three, two and one. So this one is free. This one will be two and this one will be one. And you can also change textures, effects, blah, blah, blah. There is a lot of stuff that you can play with, uh, but I will leave all that to you. But now we really don't have a way how to see that in the game. So let's create start or play button. Control spacebar. Let's go into main menu, copy this button. Let's put it in here and set it as our start start and it will be better if i also do this one in blueprint so make sure that you call properly this button let's call it start button back into chaos widget we can now connect all of these let's do here a longer delay so i don't have to deal with the brightness compensation and we will basically do same thing as here let's take your main menu reference get start button assign event so assign on clicked event should be called start game make sure that you connect it and now what you want to do is to do exact opposite of this so first of all we want to remove all widgets then we will want to set input mode and set mouse cursor so control c control v mouse cursor let's deselect because we don't want mouse cursor and from here let's set input mode game only and that should be about everything 
And if you want to go really proper about that, you can also clear this reference, but let, let's ignore that. We don't need to be that exact about it. Right click on play. Now we have our start button. Let's click on start. Uh, oh, we have to unpause the game. Yeah, that could be a problem. <laughs> All right, let's open that. And also our set game paused. Control C. Control V. Click on play. Now click on start and actually start the game. And look at that. I can control it. Everything is cool and stuff. But now if I actually try settings, so play, give me settings, let's set it to low, back and start. And you can see that everything is low, doesn't work and looks really sucky. So, but if I do it with high setting, setting, high, click back and start the game, everything is beautiful again. Very, very cool. All right, and one more thing I promised to show you and that's how to set up start that you don't have to start in this map. So. Let's simply do that by going, well, let's just create a completely empty level. Let's call it start level. All right, save selected, blah, blah, blah. And what we will do here is create completely new game mode and completely new pawn. So let's right click, create here blueprint class, game mode. Let's call it start game mode. And new pawn, blueprint, come on, blueprint class, pawn. And again, start pawn. And now for this map, we will select our game mode. So start game mode will be here. And as our default pawn, we will set our start pawn. And now what you simply have to do in our start pawn, let's go into event graph. And we have to copy all the stuff we did for our vehicle. So blueprint chaos vehicle. Where are you, my? All right, let's take all of these. Put it in our start pawn, control V, and I'm not sure if it will create, yeah, we have a problem with our menu reference, we have to recreate it, so create variable, let's try compile again, and it even took our custom events, that's pretty cool, I was afraid that we will have to recreate them, but it should be cool here. Now when we have it in our start pawn, we can go back into chaos vehicle pawn and just disconnect it, because we don't have to worry about it that much anymore, and now we have to go into our main menu widget. Oh no, actually we have assigned it in a pawn, so let's go into start pawn and in your start game you don't want to do any of that. I was lying to you, you don't need to do that. You want to open map, so let's open level and that level will be of course the level you want to start with. So in my case it was the one that I was using to demonstrate everything. So let's go to scenes, right click, rename it, control C. Let's insert it here. Control V, make sure it's exactly the same name. And now, and now let's close that. And if we go in and one more thing in your edit, in your edit and project setting, you need to set up default level. So maps mode, you need to set up editor startup map and game default map. And ideally for both, it will be your start level. So now if I start the game, I have here this setting, looks cool, click on start and look at it, we are in our game. And if you want, you can create here some simple scene that will look good or just put that pictures, that's up to you how you want your game to start. Start, you got a game. I would say that's called success. I hope that now you can create your wonderful and perfect main menu for your own game. All right, I hope that you learned something and huge thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. You can see all those wonderful people here. That's it. And I'm gonna leave Sir Fancy out.